Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to track the frame rate for games and applications on the iPhone or iPad. So if you don't already know, the iPhone iPad do not have native frame rate counting and you have to rely on in-game frame rate counters to work. If you don't have a frame rate counter, then you'll want to use a tool like this one. Here we're going to use an application called PerfDog, which is free to use. And I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Once we get to the website, we're going to go to the download page here and we're going to download the Mac OS version. So I'm doing this from my Mac. Equally, you could do this from a Windows computer using the Windows link instead, but I'm gonna show you the Mac way of doing it. So now that I've downloaded PerfDog, I'm going to open up here. And then I'm gonna move it into my applications folder. It's just gonna drag and drop it here. Now I can go to my applications folder and double click on PerfDog. Here we're gonna click open. Here it's asking us to receive keystrokes. So I'm going to click open system preferences and then I'm going to click the padlock and then authenticate with my finger and then PerfDog I'm going to enable here and give permission to. Here it's asking us to sign up. So I'm just going to click the sign up button and it's going to take us to the website and we're going to create an account with a username and password. So now I'm going to log it into my account. So now the PerfDog interface has connected up. I'm going to full screen this by double clicking on the taskbar at the top. So now I'm going to use my USB to lightning cable to connect to my iPhone. And it's saying here my iPhone 12 has connected. So now I'm going to select my device. Now it's connected to my actual phone. Here we can go ahead and select a specific game. So the one people are really interested in is Genshin Impact. So it's going to prepare a profile. And what I'm going to do on my phone is to load up the actual game itself. I'm just going to minimize this a little bit. So on the left hand side of the screen, I've got QuickTime recording this screen of my phone and I'm going to go ahead and open up Genshin Impact. And we can see here that we've got some performance metrics already and I'm just going to log into the game and then see how the tracking is going. So I've loaded up the actual Genshin Impact game and I'm just going to demonstrate what the frame rate is like. So you can see this as the frame rate counter at the bottom here. If we mouse over the current frame rate, it's showing that we're going at around 49 frames per second. So if I look at my actual settings, I can actually see in my settings here, I can go to the graphics section and I've got it on basically the highest it can possibly go. It's basically at 60 frames per second and everything's on high and it's showing here that it's kind of overclocked. So it's this uh, red line here, which kind of means that we're on the custom mapping for the graphics to go at the maximum speed. And obviously this is going to thermal throttle at some point very soon. So just be aware that this is going to get a bit janky. It's even got a kind of jank meter on it, which is very cool. And you can click at specific sections where you can see the CPU and memory usage and how that's going exactly. So this is one of the most detailed ways to actually view iPhone gaming performance. It's extremely impressive what can be done. And all it requires is a data cable to be attached from your lightning port of your phone to your computer. And uh, we can get this much detailed information. We can also record using this play button. And it's also possible to upload this to the cloud as well. If we log into our web browser onto PerfDog, then we can go ahead and for example, we can pull some actual data and record it. And you need at least uh, 10 seconds to be able to have any meaningful data out of this. But this is on the kind of maximum frame rate. I'm running my iPhone 12 Pro, so this should be pretty good performance. I'm aware that the iPhone 13 is now out, so that should run this even better. And from all the benchmarks that I've seen, it certainly is very impressive. Um, so here I'm gonna press pause and I'm going to upload. And if I click on this cloud icon, I can see my benchmarks that I've made. So here I can click on the one that I uploaded and it's giving some indication of the kind of speeds and temperatures and everything. We can use this information to compare other phones running the same game. It'd be quite interesting to see how the iPhone 13 performs and other phones in the future because those have 120 Hertz displays and Genshin Impact has just been updated to work with 120 frames per second. So here we can definitely see that there is definitely thermal throttling now. It's gone down to about 36 frames per second and it's only been running for a few minutes. So this is, uh, pretty normal for the phone. You can, I can tell it's definitely gone a bit slower uh, from my phone side anyway. I can tell that the frame rate has dipped a lot. So it's gone from, you know, 60 down to 36 in a 
pretty quickly. But I'm sure if I turn down the settings, then it would maintain a better thermal profile and would actually work much better long term and obviously use less battery too. But anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.